In a previous video, we argued that a transformation that rotates a vector in 2D is a linear transformation. In this video, we will show how to compute the matrix that represents this transformation. In other words, we will compute the matrix such that multiplying that matrix times a vector has the net effect of rotating that vector. We start with the coordinate axes in 2D. Usually these are referred to as the x-axis and the y-axis. Next, we examine how the unit basis vector with components 1, 0 is rotated through an angle theta. It helps to show the unit circle. The rotated vector is then illustrated as follows. We now wish to determine what the components of the result vector are. If we examine the shown right triangle, we find that the vector is in the direction cosine theta and sine theta, so that the result vector has components cosine theta sine theta. We have thus determined the vector that results from rotating the first basis vector through an angle theta. We can do the same thing for the second unit basis vector. Rotating the vector through an angle theta yields the given result vector. We can again draw some right triangles from which we determine that the result vector has components minus sine theta and cosine theta. Now, Recall that given a vector x, rotating it through angle theta is equivalent to multiplying the vector by a 2 by 2 matrix with columns that equal the rotated unit basis vectors. So, the first column should equal the vector that results from rotating the first unit basis vector, and the second column should equal the vector that results from rotating the second unit basis vector. Bingo! There we have the matrix that performs the rotation. Now, we can then multiply the matrix times the vector to get the formula for each of the components. So, if we start with an arbitrary vector x with components chi0 and chi1, we can rotate that vector through an angle theta by applying the transformation, or we can multiply it by the 2 by 2 matrix that we just discovered, or we can actually just multiply all of that out and explicitly come up with the different components of the result vector. So, to summarize, the linear transformation that rotates a vector x through an angle theta is represented by the matrix with cosine along the diagonals, minus sine above the diagonal, and sine below the diagonal. Multiplying with this matrix will give you the transformed vector as if it had been rotated.